Chelsea will be looking to erase the Brentford nightmare as they look to bounce back immediately in the Champions League against Real Madrid in midweek. Antonio Rudiger had looked to get the Blues on the right track to another three points but a remarkable turnaround in the space of 10 minutes meant that the Bees were able to walk away from SW6 with a historic win. A double from Vitaly Janelt, a special goal from Christian Eriksen and a late strike from substitute Jon Wissa meant it was a nightmare return to action for the West Londoners, who looked to have the Blues after returning from the match international break. You don't need to lose as a consequence. I am aware of it, and I am aware that my expectations were not too high about this match from the start. It is difficult after an international break to play as the favorite to dictate the match and break down a difficult and well-organized team, Tacho reflected in his post-match press conference after the 4-1 loss regarding the international conundrum. They are a very physical team. It makes things very difficult. I agree if we considered the first goal and second one and could never catch up, but we were in the lead and in charge. I didn't see it coming. I felt us getting better and better. I felt that we deserved the first goal, got a beautiful first goal, and I don't know why the next 10 minutes cost us the game. Thiago Silva's wife hits back at critics after what was said during Chelsea's loss to Brentford. On a positive note, Rhys James' return to action was a massive positive for Tuchel and Co, who will now have a stronger squad to select from come midweek as he looks for an emphatic response to this latest setback. With this in mind, Football.London provides you with the latest Chelsea injury news after Brentford and ahead of the Champions League quarterfinal against Los Blancos. Edward Mendy The Senegalese shortstopper was truly off-color during Saturday's game. Alongside making a few shaky mistakes early on, he also had to receive treatment midway through the first half after what looked to be a knee injury. He was able to continue for the full 90 minutes, and fans will be thankful that he came away unscathed from whatever incident caused the discomfort for Chelsea's number 16. What Tuchel said, actually, I have to watch it again. I think it is an unthankful game for a goalkeeper. Also, for him, he has a lot to process. That's why he goes and plays these tight matches, a rematch of the African Cup final to qualify for the Qatar World Cup. He does another penalty shootout when he can feel it. He is part of the team and unfortunately, he couldn't help us like he did in the first match. We have nobody injured. Trevor Koloba. It was somewhat a surprise to see the center half not starting from the off, especially considering the tight turnaround for Thiago Silva from the international period. However, his absence from the back four was just a tactical decision rather than an injury one, which means we could see Nathaniel's brother back in the squad for the visit of Carlo Ancelotti's side this upcoming Wednesday. What Tacho said, just selection, we decided to play with a back four and we chose our four central defenders. Christian Tulisic The USMNT international returned a day later than Thiago Silva, meaning the Brazilian was able to start against Brentford, whilst the aforementioned winger was left out completely as a precaution which could be seen as a blessing in disguise. Pulisic played a big part in last season's success against the Spanish Giants and will now hope to have the same impact this time, having had more rest time compared to the rest of his teammates. What Tuchel has said pre-Brentford, Thiago is a bit different than Christian because he didn't play the third match for Brazil. He came back one day earlier and didn't have the same jet lag. For Christian, we have to decide. He didn't train today. We gave him a recovery session. He was here but very tired with the jet lag and time difference. So we have to figure out if it makes sense to play him tomorrow and for how many minutes. Expected return date, Real Madrid, Wednesday, April 6th. Andreas Christensen. Despite being named in the Denmark squad, Christensen was quick to pull out of his international duties. The Dane suffered a knock in the Champions League round of 16 second leg against Lille and didn't feature for his country before returning to Chelsea for training earlier this week. Expected return date, Real Madrid, Wednesday, April 6. Callum hudson -Odoi. hudson -Odoi managed just one appearance in February as he struggled with a troublesome Achilles issue. No risks have been taken with the academy graduate, hardly a surprise as a ruptured Achilles tendon derailed his rapid development in 2019. What Tuchel has said, the Callum hudson Odoi and Ben Chilwell will miss the game tomorrow. Callum still feels his Achilles a little bit and has some lower back problems. 
everyone else was in training. Expected return date unknown. Ben Chilwell. Chilwell suffered a cruciate ligament injury in his knee that is said to keep the wing back out for the rest of the season. The 25-year-old performed well in the early stages of the season but won't make a return until the summer. Expected return summer 2022.